I think there was quite a lot of positivity. Uh, the fact that, um, at least recently, uh, two newer countries have uh, graduated from the LDC group. And I think that has really given hope and momentum in terms of you know, how much can be achieved. Um, um, however, you know, the, what success would look like for the Istanbul Pro Programme of Action is by 2020, about 23 countries would have graduated from the LDC group. Is that going to happen? Maybe not. And that's partly due to a number of factors. Um, one of them can be the slightly frustrating uh, lack of progress on um, means of implementation, for instance. You know, uh, there are a number of factors that need to be looked at. I think just beyond the financial commitment uh, from uh, the donor community, but also looking at um, a number of global processes such as you know trade regimes for instance or intellectual property rights that hinder the progress on technology transfer for instance all these issues need to be tackled to realize the ambition level to a certain extent by 2020 um, but also what was another issue that was an issue of concern for many LDC countries was also the lack of uh, diversification in their economies as well, particularly for many countries that heavily rely on primary commodity markets, for instance. So volatility in these primary commodity markets has led, has had a negative effect on the desired progress uh, that was uh, aspired to be achieved by many LDC countries. But the final point I would like to make as well is a very important one. Um, as we know, quite a number of, uh, there are a number of proliferation of uh, these goals and targets, if you like, beyond the Istanbul Programme of Action, but you have the Sustainable Development Goals, or commonly known as the SDGs, but also you have the CBD, IG targets, the UNFCCC process, etc., etc. That is very exhausting for many of these LDC countries, to be honest with you. So um, I think it's about time for intellectuals and others in the development community to start thinking in terms of how do we uh, develop a more coherent approach towards achieving all these goals and targets, if that's deemed desirable, of course.